Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here, and we're back with 109th place. It is THE Heist by Other Spike. Well, with an average score of 47.9, 5% time penalty. Uh, other than that, looking pretty decent all around. Let's take a look at the heist. It's got three tricky tokens, one energy element. I feel like we've had a stage with these exact graphics. The background, our background went dark. Well, it has light poles. There are no hand railings. Oh, hey. I was supposed to go down. Well, that was silly. I'm in control of... Okay, there's the first tricky token. Ah, darn it. How come that's solid suddenly? Ah! I do like the combination of these lasers and the, the blocks we got going on. Whoa! Okay, we'll let this stack up. There's a square down there, but I don't think it's... Functionality penalty! Oh, yeah, I didn't have much health left. Oh, here we go again with this. Quick checkpointing, that's a good sign because I don't want to repeat that stuff. Checkpoint before a mini boss? Not a mini boss at all, it's a Metroid 2 reference. You know, I'm gonna check the mini mapper for this because I'm not gonna put in the effort if there's no. nothing there. And there's not. And another checkpoint after having not really done anything. Hi. So now we're using those blocks and the sheep blocks together. Interesting. Okay, so I gotta get the yellow to go down. Easy token and easy E. Just how we like it on this channel. Oh, hello. Not ready for that. Not ready. Oh, and I like the, the combination of the sheep blocks and these lasers has been very unique and cool. Ah. Uh... 
I guess if that's gonna block the lasers, what screen transitions? Okay, well there's a thing over here. I wish these tellies weren't coming. Uh, I don't know what was intended there. I also don't know where this music is from. I'm just gonna say it sounds like Castlevania music, even though I probably not. That was very well done. Okay, this is not working for me. And there's a checkpoint. And a boss fight with Punk. What was Punk week two again? Oh, the Shockwave. Okay. You know, I would like to have seen more of the... More of the sheet block laser combinations. The stage just left me wanting a little bit more from it. But otherwise, I thought the whole blocks blocking the lasers was pretty innovative. You turned around, Snowman. Don't think I didn't notice. It's pretty innovative and... Okay. And Flashman gave it a 41. Oh no, Mega Man's breaking the law and robbing banks. What will his father think of him? Well, actually, I'm not clear. Are we breaking in or are we trying to stop the heist? Punk makes it a bit unclear since he's not exactly the police type. Anyway, this level does three things that I really like. First are the Mega Man 9 lasers. This has some of the best lasers I've seen in a while. Agreed. Not only are they thematically appropriate, but they make excellent puzzle elements for digging into the bank. The second one is Bomb Throne. Normally, these are a complete pushover, but if you go for the charge shot, more often than not you expose a laser in the process that forces a not-so-trigger-happy mindset. It allows Bomb Throne to be a genuine threat. The final one is sheep blocks. They don't show up much, but the puzzle for that E-Tank plus the Dachon battle means they put on a show regardless. Unfortunately, the rest of the level is a bit weak. The met sections are okay. Yeah, there were a couple janky spots in the stage, uh, but there's at least one met that if it hits you, you fly back into the previous screen. Since it fires instantly, the result is a terrible combination. Yeah, that... Just that one spot. Pendulum sections are really neat. But the tellies are too easily scrolled off the screen. Finally, there is a number of functionality goofs. There's several rooms where the camera just camera stop just doesn't work. Not game breaking, but very noticeable. More importantly, that E-Tank sheet puzzle, you decide to run back to reset it. The lasers from the previous room will leak into this room, 
making it all but impossible to get the E-Tank and dealing a ton of damage. It happened in my blind run, it wasn't pleasant. As a whole, this level is fun enough. It's definitely not perfect, owing to its glitches and scrolling missteps, but I appreciate it nonetheless. I had fun with the stage. Yeah, not as fleshed out as it could have been, but I don't... I mean, given Shinryu's scale, a 38 is probably fairly generous for it. I'm going to be really curious when we get to see his 50s and 60s, 70s, 80s, and if he gave anything, 90s. I like some of the puzzle stuff, I just wish there was more. And the swings just kind of... Okay, they block the... the lasers, but then that was it. Yeah, not fleshed out enough. Board, though. Yeah, the punk fight was made easier by the different room design. I appreciate people trying different room designs, though, even if it makes something easier rather than harder. I need a medic bag. I feel like the junk blocks from Sparkman stage just kind of disappeared after a while too. I would love to have seen just more combinations with everything. Yeah, the third token did not need that Tele Spawner. Oh yeah, absent screen boundaries, that's one of my pet peeves as well. Oh, is that what that thing at the end was meant to be? The getaway vehicle? Okay.
I know, Flashman. You'd expect more Joes to be guarding vaults with their shields and everything. I think Flashman really is getting hung up on the stage title in this review. I mean, that's really most of his review here is just talking about how things don't really tie into this theme of a heist. Which, I mean, there is space in judging for that, but that shouldn't be the entire... thing. I'd have two nickels. So I guess it's, uh... Not Castlevania music. Noted. But I'll still probably call it Castlevania music when it shows up again. Yeah, the stage needed more playtesting. Especially when those enemies knock you back to a previous screen. But we've been over this. Yeah, we've been over the punk fight. Alrighty then, who in the world are you? Ivan Chulski. At this lab, we are always coming up with new ways to utilize ice. My focus is ice and its relation with computers. For example, utilizing an icy mist to cool down overheating laptops. Perhaps one day we can make some sort of cybernetic ice. Think of the applications of that. Uh, we actually saw that in Mega Man Battle Network 2 with Freeze Man's ice. That ended up being a uh, global crisis, though. That was not a rhetorical statement. It was a request. Can you help me think of an application? I'm going to pass on that. Uh, well, I guess then for now, I'll take my leave. <laughs>